Uh, Santa cookie plate or just cookie plate in general. So here's the example that I have. It's a super easy activity and um, it takes just about a day to make it and we are going to um, show you how to do it. All right, so what I have already done is um, washed my plate with an grease removing dish soap to make sure the back is free of oils and dust. So the next thing I'm going to do is, um, if this is face down, it's kind of hard to see on camera. Um, so this is the back side that we're going to be applying this to. And I'm gonna use this sponge brush that is included in yours, and I am going to put a layer of the Mod Podge on the back of the plate. And you have to make sure that you leave no gaps in the glue so that when we do put the fabric on, we will have a solid, um, Thing. And I also did forget to put my work surface cover down. You do want to make sure you go completely to the edges, otherwise, it's going to peel up and not stick to the back. So I'm just going around the edges a couple times just to make sure you don't want to be too thin but you don't want to big big globs of the Mod Podge otherwise it's never going to dry. You want to avoid also creating bubbles or streaks. So streaks of big globs of the Mod Podge. All right so now that I have this covered in the Mod Podge I am going to take my fabric, this is the pattern that we have today, and you have to put it face um, the design side away, so this is the lighter side, you can definitely tell which side the design is on. And then I'm going to place the square on the, on the fabric on the back of the plate, we're going to start in the center and work our way outwards to begin smoothing it out. So we're just gonna try to center it as best we can. And we don't want any bubbles or creases in the fabric. That will definitely affect the final product. All right, so now that we have all of the fabric on here, we're going to apply another coat of the Mod Podge to the back of the fabric, um, again, to make sure to completely um, go to the edges of the plate. All right, so now that I have my layer of Mod Podge on here, I am going to go ahead and let this dry for quite a while. Um, at times may vary on how long it takes for it to dry, depending on how thick the Mod Podge is. Alrighty, everybody, so I have let this dry for about a half hour. I did end up putting a little bit extra on around the edges in some places. As you can kind of maybe tell, right here it's still white and a little wet but i am going to go ahead and trim it and show you guys what it will look like and what um what you kind of have to do for it Alrighty. So I will kind of flip it back over so that it doesn't come apart from the plate on the 
backside to let it dry a little bit more. And I think you can add a little bit more Mod Podge, Mod Podge if it does come apart from the edge just a little bit and just let that dry a little bit longer. So here is our plate. It is absolutely adorable. I love these red trucks. We have several different patterns that went out with the cookie plates or uh, decorative plates, I should say. Um, so you might not have the red truck one, but they are absolutely adorable, super easy, and um, something that will last a really long time. So thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.